Welcome back here at Daytime Buffalo. We love to follow up some great stories that we've shared with this platform. With the help of National Fuel and a 716-based fashion designer, one lucky girl was able to get the prom dress of her dreams. I would like to welcome designer Dekeela McGee, Sarah Washington of National Fuel, and Takara, the winner of this custom prom dress. Ladies, thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. All right, Sarah, we'll start with you. Um, talk about National Fuel putting on this competition and and doing this dress giveaway. So Dekeela came to EDGE, which is the ethnically diverse group of employees, employee resource group, with the idea. And we opened up a contest, an essay contest, to Buffalo Public and inner city charter school students to apply. Mm -hmm. They had to write a 100 word essay and the prom committee was touched by Takara's essay and selected her as our winner. What was it about her essay that really, you know, stood out to you guys? A lot of the women in the group could relate to her stories and um, things she expressed in her essay really touched us. And Takara, what was it like finding out that you were the winner of this competition? I was a little shocked at first. I was like, oh wow, this is awesome. <laughs> but you know, now I got this dress and I feel like really pretty in it. So. Absolutely beautiful. We gotta get into you, Dekeela. Mm -hmm. You are the designer of this absolutely magnificent dress. Thank Tell you. me about the collaboration you did with Takara and what was what went into making this dress? A lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of tears and a lot of sweat, maybe a little bit of blood. <laughs> but um yeah, a lot of time, a lot of work. It was, uh, we could, me, when I met her as the winner of the prom dress, we did talk about what she wanted. And um, she wanted something that was big and poofy and fairy tale-ish. And so I sat with her and I designed something that was something that we all could agree on, liking her father's national fuel, myself and herself. And from that point on, I got her measurements and we had a couple of fittings and this was the end result of a lot of, time and work. A lot of <laughs> It's time. a full corset in there for lining. Um, the gloves are also my work. The gloves are awesome. Thank are you. you kidding? Can we zoom in on this? Because look at that. Look at it literally shimmering <laughs> in the light in the studio. Now, what was your reaction when you saw this dress? I was speechless. I was like, wow, this is so pretty. I want to take like a whole bunch of pictures of it, yeah. but I held back. Back. You held back? No, you, this is the time to. So you already had your prom, right? You actually got to wear it and sport it. And this is your time. Give a shout out to whoever you would like. You're wearing this beautiful dress. <laughs> I don't know who to shout out. <laughs> but I'm just really thankful that she made it for me and everybody that worked with it to make this mm -hmm. and stuff. And what program. was it like arriving at prom? wearing a custom dress. Not everyone gets that. I did not have a custom a dress. A lot of <laughs> eyes were on me. A lot of eyes were on me. I did felt like it? really famous yeah, you are but it was nice i really enjoyed it i had a nice time there too and can we talk about edge fuel a little bit yeah so edge fuel is an employee resource group at national fuel this is going on our second year as a group um this past weekend we marched in the juneteenth parade we'll be out at the puerto rican and hispanic day parade in august and we're just trying to make a difference in the community um, in which national fuel operates and where our employees and colleagues work and live Awesome work. We talked about this last time, but not everyone feels comfortable finding, not, not everyone has the money for a dress and not everyone feels comfortable finding things that fit their body and make them feel beautiful. And it was so amazing to see you make Takara so b beautiful and feel gorgeous in her skin and in this dress. Do you feel beautiful? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I like to did. say that I was a part of the Fairy Godmother team because yes. her jewelry was actually made by Nicole Davis of Francie Jewelry. Okay, I recognize yeah. this jewelry. I was like, this looks very familiar. Mm -hmm. We've had her on the show. Chris Bishop did her hair for the day of her prom for high class hair. Oh, wow. Rick Warren of photography took her photographs and um, Jeweled Makeup Academy did her makeup for that day. Okay, so she so really- had the full had... princess treatment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. And so thank you for what you did. I really appreciate this.